Lords Captain Admiral Atoms, you're required on the bridge at once. There's been a whoopsie. That's the famous space astronaut, Captain Maxwell Adams. He's just one mission away from retirement. After the events that unfolded on Klaxion Delta, where Max had to make the soul-destroying decision between the unimaginable and the unthinkable, High Command made the decision that his time was up and assigned him to this prison transport ship, the SS Ursine, as a final send-off. They believed he was past his prime and a long way from his gunslinging, blaster-tossing, plasma-hurling younger self. But I expose to you, Trevor, if push comes to shove and they teamed up into a stronger force of motion and wish to wage a battle against Max, well, even at his advanced age and with his traumatic past, I'd still bet on him because the bookies are only paying negatives. Raw! Raw! Hey, Max, it's me, Theodore, and this is Paddington. Sorry to wake you from your afternoon nap. We've just been going over our whoopsie projections when we were interrupted by an unknown ship firing on us. And now it's become extremely important that we don't delay in considering the forecasts for our strategic blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. Blah 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 So what do you think, Max? Do you agree with our whoopsie prevention plan? No bother! That was a big one! This is General Cuddles of the Bermuda Alliance. Your ship holds imprisoned citizens loyal to our cause. And one loose unit. Release those bears in space immediately, or you will be destroyed. Ah! We haven't had enough time to implement and test our whoopsie prevention strategy! You have ten minutes to comply. Preheat the laser beams. We're a scientific prison ship! We have no weapons! We must jump to hyper-quickness! Pressing the button is usually my job, but I'm ever so scared. We are doomed! Raw! Raw! About time you woke up, sleepyhead. It's me, Bertana. But you can call me BT for short. Everyone else does. That dangerous hyperquickness jump we made plunged us deep into an unknown galaxy. And it merged our DNA together. Pretty neat, huh? We can chat about that later if you really want. But for now, we gotta get out of here. The ship is real beat up. Let's take that emergency exit and make our way to the escape pod. First, if it was up to me, get in close and attack it in the back like a bear. Unsuspecting and defenseless. Yep, that's the bear code. Use the melee button to take it out, Maxi. Phew, that was a close one, Max. Let's make our way to the drop pods. 
Dang it, there's more of them. Here, take my gun. Now quickly shoot them in the back before they notice we're here. It was either us or them, Maxi. Glad you followed the bear code. No time to waste. Looks like we're gonna have to fight our way through to the drop pod. for a second, but I think we're in the clear now. Really, the nerve of those bots getting in our way. Hmm, should we try and rescue all those other bears in space, prison? Nope, you're right, Max. They would want us not to save them. Okay, let's get out of here. Max! Max! Wait for me! Oh, you're alive. There's no room. Bye! Let's roll! drive next time. All right, Maxie, take everything you think you know about bears and forget it. Max, let me tell you a little something about bears. Fact number 72, we don't take fall damage. Fact number 38, we can dash. Fact number 15, we can double jump. Bear fact number 503, we can double jump and dash while in the air. Off this rock is gonna be that away. Bear fact number five. Acid legs hurt you. Avoid them. Well, 
Well, if it isn't Maxwell Adams and Bear Tana, the man bear extraordinaire. Thanks for taking care of all the riffraff out front. And let me be the first to say, welcome to Zoltopia. Now I know what you're thinking. What's a handsome butt like me doing on a scrap hole mining planet like this? Well, let me tell you, I'm a bot of many talents. Most of those talents revolve around Vic Bucks. You see those crates over there? They're filled with Vic Bucks. Break them open as you come across them, then bring the riches inside to me, and I'll provide you with guns and ammo. But not just any lousy guns, no sorry, but upgradable guns. You know, guns that upgrade. I'm a little low on stock currently, still waiting for my shipment to come in. But for now, how about this scatter gun? It's on the house. Hey, that was my favorite barrel! And don't forget, this baby upgrades the more you use it. So get out there and blast some bots. Chill out, I've got your save covered. If you ever see me kicking it, you know you can take five. But dudes, don't worry. Jason and Mente always has you covered. If you ever see that auto-saving icon on the bottom of the screen, you know your progress has been saved. Just remember to be gnarly and not turn off your game while it's saving. Otherwise, you could be in for a wipeout, dudes. And that'd be totally bogus. Chill out, dudes. Your game has been saved. Ghost voice. Hmm. Did you just hear someone speak? I swear I just heard someone speak. Quit your tomfoolery. Your time has come, bandit. Ah, oh, it was you. That makes sense. Max, be a doll and kill them, would ya? <laughs> Multiple weapons, Max. Hold the weapon select button to open the weapon wheel. Bears experience the flow of time at a tenth the speed a human does, so when you open the weapon wheel, I'll slow down time. 
You better believe that's bear fact number 21. those old tenants. What do you think of my new location? You know, this part of the planet used to be a pretty docile mining outpost until you two showed up. You've got them all riled up. So I say shoot first and don't ever ask questions. Oh, I agree. That's the bear code way, too. Yep, better for business that way. Now, I got most of my shipment in, but I'm still missing an auto phaser that looks an awful lot like the one you've got right there. Well, you better buy some ammo for it. You know, Max, I've been keeping a journal of our adventures so far. Our gun upgrade progress, items we've found, secrets we should find, boys I like, you know, that sort of stuff. Open it up and check it out. I'm on a recon mission for the Carborganites. Don't tell anyone.
I have a little job I need to. You see those keys over there? Bring me the red one and I'll let you through. I do it myself, but as you can see, I'm a little busy right now. Gee whiz, Max, which key is it? They all look great to me. Let's see if this is the right one. This key is Jack. Yeah. I asked for crap. This will take care of wasting my time. Bring me the red key. Let's see if this is the right one. That's not a red key. That's fire edge. Perhaps another lesson in play will help you figure this out. All right, Earth Beast. Last chance to get this right. Now remember, red key. Let's see if this is the right one. Porter, you bring me what I asked for. But you've wasted me day. And this time, you're really done for. Seriously? That is the last time we're dealing with colored keys.
Astronomer nerd I've heard so little about. Yes, it is I, Dr. Astronomer, surveyor of the galaxies and windows everywhere. Yeah, cool. We're looking for a way back to Earth. Could you help us or nah? Hmm, yes. Such computations are well within my capacities. But unfortunately, I am without a stereoscope. Without one, my bifocal receptors are at a depleted reserve. Uh, enough point, Dexter. Just tell us where we need to go and who to kill. A group of hoodlums absconded with it. They went through that door. Do be quick. I feel lost without it. Max, shut up and let me talk for once. Is that honey I smell? The honey, Max. this door, you'll eventually make your way to a travel agent. I'm sure they can point you in the right direction. Never trust the tweet. Bear back number one.
Ja. It must be your lucky day. You've seen me at three of my locations now. Didn't realize you were such a fan of Ovik. But hey, as long as you're spending, I'm vending. Oh, uh, is that all you're gonna spend? You might want to spend a little more. Trust me, old Vic knows a thing or two about spending. Intuition is telling me that this will take us to the travel agent. Coach Bot Bay. So, you want to join the Basket Cube League, huh? Great, you'll be a star. I'll give you a quick rundown on the rules of Basket Cube. Two teams, we left eight players each. You take on one of three positions. Defender, attacker, or point jumper. If the game is being played during a full moon, the team sizes are double, but points are worth half their value. Unless the moon faces an aggression, under which instance double points are now worth a set value to be determined by the day's position on the count. Points are scored by manipulating the back. Ahem. <clears throat> I think I know a thing or two about Basket Cube. Now get out of our way. Oh, well, of course. Go dunk some dingers. Huh. 
All right, champ, go and sing some touchdowns. Remember, you're playing for the Defraggy Discs. That's the green team. Shoot for the purple hoop. ever since the Toronto wheel quit. Keep practicing, kid. We'll get to the big leagues. Now, Scram, I got prize money to count. number on those bots. Shame. Those pesky research droids owed me a few Vic bucks. Anyway, welcome to the Acid Marshlands. The robots here spend most of their time harvesting acid for their battery production. Well, that's what they'll do until you two showed up. I hope you've been saving up your Vic bucks. I've got a brand new, upgradable Gatling laser that's sure to pack a punch. And that's a Spendly guarantee. Spendly guarantees don't actually cover anything at all, generally, but they considered as a cheap marketing tool. Now remember you two, barrel facing forward. Have fun! Gee whiz, some new friends. What's that you say? You need to get through this here door? Well, I'm not supposed to let strangers through. My morals are easily shaken, though, and that delicious looking treat up there has been teasing me for so long. You have morals? If you go get it, I'll let you through. <laughs>
all that filthy second hand ammo on the ground. Happy spending! Mates. Now, what brings you two together? A horrible accident. Oh, yeah, right. Well, what can I do for you? We're here to grab that battery. I'm meant to be watching it. I'll tell you what, if you beat me in this new game I've just invented, I'll watch you two take it away. Sounds fair to me. Uh, deal. Alrighty, get ready. Red, green, blue. Now you have a crack. Red, green, blue. Oh yeah, not bad. You've been practicing, I see. Green, red, blue, green. Now you have a crack. Green, red, blue, green. Oh, Struth, you've really improved since the last time. I'm proud of you. Now, for the final challenge. Red, blue, blue, green, red, red, blue, green, green, blue. Can't let you go home empty-handed. Go on, take the battery. Just bring it back when you're done. I know you two are good for it.
Go on through. Chief two, long time no see. Gee whiz, you're never gonna believe this, but I'm hungry again. The city through there has what I want, but they won't let me in. Can you go get it for me? Well, if you would help me out again, here, go on ahead. Spotted
Officer! Oh, hey there, Max. BT. I've got some creepy vibes about this place. How about you spend up big, just to be safe? No, Maxwell. Now is not the time.
to alarm you, but I can smell honey just past that door. It's locked. We don't have time for this. Let me deal with it.
rooms. Now let's find that train station and get off this bot forsaken rock. Hey, if you break any more of my damn fire, Jono, you will pay. That's a damn fine guarantee. All right, Maxie, something tells me that's the way we gotta go. I'm glad we decided to take the long way to the train station.
headed to the newest industrial planet, affectionately known as the Industrial Planet. These robots have really gone wild terraforming this place. Yep, strip the resources completely dry. Anyway, I notice you've been struggling with some of the more troublesome bots. Well, do I have a treat for you. It's a Gamma Launcher! And this one's on the house, old buddy. Oh, uh, it's out of ammo. What a shame. Lucky for you, I have plenty in stock. Now spend! Oh, by the way, I've heard you two are looking for a way to get back to your home planet. Yeah, that sounds like something we should be doing. Well, you're heading in the right direction, but that's because there's only one way out of here. And that way is through the spooky castle up on the hill. You've probably seen it. I've seen a lot of things. Yeah, well spent. castle Vic was talking about. I knew that was the way we were meant to go. Us bears have great intuition, Maxie. Bear fact number 86. Ammo. Ow. 
Chill out, dudes. The game's been saved. Careful to not wake it up, Max. Hmm, looks like that's the only way out of here. See if you can find a terminal to get the platform moving. Are you permitted to use this device? Answer this easy question to prove your permittance. The first Zorkal robot to challenge the reverse clause was... A. Delta Ray Robertson. 1. Robert DeToro. 0. Robbie Unitas. 4. Larry. Ha ha ha, you could not be more incorrect. 10 minutes until power-off sequence is complete. Really, Max? I knew that wasn't the right answer. Quick, look for... Yep. I'm not sure what you're doing, but do it. Alright, Maxie, now let's see if we can use this gizmo on the computer. That did nothing. What were you thinking? Why didn't you just use this button? See? We can abort the sequence now. Start our timer aborted. Activation commencing now. Shoot the purple switches. Tap the item select button to quickly get it out and put it away. <laughs> Don't forget, tap the item select button to quickly switch to and from the binary gun. Something tells me you're gonna need it. <laughs> I've got some errands to run anyway. You go have fun. Pick up my keys. crew and is now trying to steal his loot. Autonomous bots, roll them.
Hey, how'd you go without all those bear powers, champ? Could you imagine a game that slow, Max? Could ya? Screw that. Chill out, dudes. Your game has been saved. family always told me, it doesn't matter if you live your life a quarter micron at a time. Winning is winning. The most important thing in life will always be winning this race, right here, right now. We're racing for slips, first one around. Vincent? He told me he was going for a drive, but I haven't seen him since. I'm still mad at him for selling our house to pay for that hot rod of his. And now the bank is threatening to repossess our children. I just hope wherever he is, he isn't living his life a quarter micron at a time.
up, dudes? Your game has been saved. Chill out, dudes. Your game has been saved. Hey, buddy. You reckon you could hit record for me on the camera? I'm Ronnie Botsville, and this is the Jumping Into Acid. Hey, Max and BT, have you heard the latest news? Extra, extra, I'll tell you all about it! Propeller Head's now the coolest thing in the galaxy! Max, BT, I need that hat. If we get you one, will you let us go through that doorway behind you? We're on our way to visit the castle! Propeller Head!
Dudes, your game has been saved. The propeller hats for sale. That's a heavy coin, Maxi. Far too heavy to walk around with.
Hey, Max. BT. What the heck? We just got you that dang propeller hat you wanted. Get with the times, you two. Propeller hats are so lame now. Blue wigs are the hip thing. Beat it. I can't be seen with anyone who has a hat like that. Hell. Extra, extra, I'll tell you all about it. Blue wigs have been recalled. Proto explosion. Rut row. I'm keeping the hat, Max. Yep.
Hey Max, PT. I was hoping I'd catch you two here. Listen, I gotta duck out for a bit, so if you need anything, buy up quick. But be warned. I'm not in a position to have my time wasted. For me, the mighty warden. Word of your terror has reached my ears. The time of your reckoning is now. Come forth and settle this like real fighters. That's how you want to play it, huh? How about I take you outside and show you what's like? Now witness my true form. Signature for her, please. Just whip out that binary gun you've got and sign here. Ooh. Night time to share. Special delivery for Bob that I need a signature for? Just sign with the binary gun again. Like I had to 
a nice laugh. It's nothing to lose your head over. <laughs> oh, okay, that's what I bet that hurt his funny bone. Oh, well, Maxi killed my customer. Now who's gonna pay for all those deliveries? He's not dead yet. Oh, well, better put this guy out of his misery. He can't pay me back in this condition. Just gonna aim my Gamma Launcher. Well, what do you know? Another pathway constructed by Vic Construction Incorporated. BTY LTD. Anyway, I need to go cash in the life insurance for this guy. So long. Oh, Max, BT. You still owe me for those deliveries. I hear you need some help getting out. Well, I know the way, but it'll cost you. Go find me a shiv, a cake, uh, some lockpicks, and, and leave them on the table. I'd start by going through one of those two doors. Uh, but that's just me, and I'm not on this fetch quest, champ. Now scram, kid. Mm -hmm. Your bare foo is strong, but do you have the discipline to shatter a solid cardboard sheet? Step onto the mat and show me.
Impressive. You've earned this sacred white headband. Wear it with pride. Bots from all over will understand you train in the way of the claw. You're ready. Your next test of strength is through this door. Good luck. With your newfound strength, you can now open the secret jars with the white lids. Keep your eyes peeled for them. You may have come across a few on your adventures already. However, if you're playing this pre-launch, disregard everything I just said. It probably isn't set up yet. Hey, Max and BT. Welcome to my secret emporium. Can I get you something? Oi, Rick, where's our ship? Cool you, Jet Steve. I'll go get it. It's just in the basement. I'll be with you in a moment, Max. the base. Oh, oh geez, what did you do to him, Maxwell? That was pretty uncalled for. I was just getting him the shiv that he wanted in. Well, it's too much trouble taking it back downstairs. Who else is gonna need a shiv in prison? You better buy it off of me. Now get out of here before you tip off the guards and bring down my whole secret operation. We need a cake, Maxie. Oh, that's 
spotted. Attacking. Kitchen's still here, Max. Maybe we'll find a cake somewhere in here. You enter my domain! Now impress me with your skills. If it's my culinary delight you seek, you must first prove your worth in the kitchen. Now come, match me in my sanctum, and you shall receive the cake you desire. Preheat the microwaves! Commits! Action. Just, uh, yeah. Ouch. 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 
well. I hope this letter finds you well and in good health. It has been too long since we last spoke. Our last dalliance may have been swift, but I remember it like it was yesterday. I have baked the cake you required. I hope it serves you well. Until we meet again, faithfully yours, Chefbot. Go get him, champ. Thanks, Chomp. Watch your back out there. Chill out, dudes. The game has been saved.
intruder spotted. Just work. Come on in, fellow robot. Strangers, I'm hoping y'all can help me with a particular predicament I currently find myself in. See, the name is Whistling Pete. As you can tell, it's somewhat of an ironic name, considering the fact that I ain't got no lips and therefore lack the ability to whistle. You find me a pair of lips, and I would consider myself one gratuitous son of a bot. Hey, Max! Max! Hey, Max! I've heard you're looking for wax lips. Well, I can't say I'm surprised, but I have some bad news. I accidentally dropped my last pair in that pool of acid just behind you. Maybe you could fish him out or something. Oh, well, Max, turns out I have a fishing license for sale. Now spend! Dangling there, Maxwell. We'll have to get you on the pro tour. Ah, looks like you knocked the drain plug loose. Good for you. Hey, Max! I think they're the lips I was talking about. Yep, that's them. since the last time I got roostered on prairie coal. With these lips in my bazoo, I can finally achieve my dream of becoming a world-class whistler.
Max, this coin is far too big for that machine, you idiot. Dudes, your game has been saved. Chill out, dudes. The game has been saved.
Power down. Dudes, your game has been saved. Boy, am I glad to see you. It's me, your old crewmate Theodore. Oh yeah! That's what we were supposed to be doing. Finding your crew! After the horrid accident on our ship, these caring bots sent a rescue squad up to search for any survivors. They found me barely hanging on to life. Left with some options, they removed my brain and put me into this robot containment unit to save my life. When you awoke on the ship amongst all the chaos, you ended up shooting them first, and then second, and then proceeded to eradicate countless numbers of bots. These bots are all good bots. They want to bury this whole silly event and put it behind them, starting over fresh with a promise to help us get back to Earth. What do you say, Max? 
killer. Never trust a robot. to rescue you from that space wreckage. And how have you repaid my kindness? By slaughtering countless numbers of my kind. You hear that, Max? That son of a butt is trying to threaten us. Well, I say let's get our revenge on and kill him for destroying our spaceship and all those bears in space. Silence! I will await you in my domain. Prepare to die. No, you prepare to die. Ah, oh, he hung up. This is gonna be exciting, Max! We have a new arch enemy! Now, let's get going! Good to see you made your way out of that dank dark prison. Let me be the first to welcome you to New Butthaven, one of the oldest regions on this planet. There's a town just ahead worth checking out, although I must warn you, they've gone a little mad over some new fad. Now let's get down to some spending. Show me those Vic Bucks. Traveler, if it be true they wish to gain access, thou are in for a pickle of a time. For you see, I seem to have misplaced the key to the gate in yonder woods. Uh, we don't have time for these key shenanigans. Stand aside, Max. From your radiant glow, you have completed the quest and have gained access. 
Enter, double sire, and enjoy your visit to NPC Town. Hover bikes are so cool. I wish I had one. Oh, but have you seen the new hover bike? My wife died recently. I couldn't make it to the funeral. Due to hover bikes being radical. Specs to you again. Let bygones be bygones and enjoy your time at damn fine shooting. Get a high score and you'll get a reward. That's a damn fine guarantee. Coin enthusiasts, come on down. I may have a proposition to intrigue you with. I bet you pair after one of those fancy hover bikes everyone's going on about. Maybe we are. Who's asking? What? I am. Who else? Of course. Anyway, they're hard to come by being so popular, but I've got something you're gonna need if you're really serious about hover biking. We're listening. Go collect ten coins and bring them to me. I'll fix you up. All I care about is hover box. Beat it. I'm too busy thinking about hover box. My two favorite things are standing here and talking about hover bikes. Looking to buy a hat? Sorry, bud, you come to the wrong place. This is the Hover Bike Appreciation Club.
Oh, but what the heck is that? Why did I give Max that protective item? What the heck was I thinking? Ah, it's tearing off my arms! Now it's devouring my wires! My eyes! Chill out, dudes. The game has been saved. My ammo. My ammo. This is where your journey ends. I will not let you pass unless you aid me. Bleh, let's just waste this, fool, Max. You could try, but it would be foolish. Unlike the other robots, I wasn't programmed with hit points. Crafty devil, always one step ahead. If you wish to proceed, you must cure me of my ailment. I am painfully bored. If I were to hear a joke worthy of a chuckle, I shall let you enter. I've heard tale of a joke so funny that it had to be separated into three parts. Luckily for you, those parts were placed under a beam that points into the sky. Now, Gallivant. Don't be stupid, Max, you dumb idiot. We need to bring this guy the joke parts he requested. Oh, hey, Max. You found my new secret location. As a reward, I got something for you. Yo, Rick, baby! Got that fresh oil I ordered in? Hey, Renega, I'll just go grab it now. Sorry, Max, I'll just be a second. <laughs> <laughs> 
Make sure they don't steal anything! Nice night, isn't it? I've heard enough. Get him. Classic Mags. Where were we? All oh, right, you get a brand new, only used twice Magnus Swing. I hear it's all the rage. Now get out there, and if you see a floating magnet, aim at it and swing. Chill out, dudes. Your game has been saved. Tip. You can quickly equip the right tool by looking at what you want to use it on and tapping the tool button. Dudes, your game has been saved. Hey, Max! BT! How you been, mates? Eh. Oh, yeah? That sounds all right. Me? Yeah, not bad, mate. Not bad. Yeah, I lost me last job. Turns out I was supposed to stop you from taking that battery. Well, they didn't tell me nothing. And I didn't tell them I'd listen anyway, so they can go and get stuffed. I've got a new job here as a receptionist. Now I'm guessing you want to have a crack at that bit of the try joke. Well, I can see you don't have a book in, but I'll cover for you, mate. Go on, before someone cracks it!
Oh, hey, Max, I wonder if that wall's repaired yet. Because, uh, I think I've caught hoverbike fever! <gasps> View from here, what we saw the hover bike action. Congratulations on visiting my hover bike shop. Yes, we'd like one hoverbike, please. Unfortunately, I just gave my last one away to that bot. Sugar bro! Hey, bro! Sugar! In hindsight, I probably should have ordered more than one. Especially with all the buzz around town. And I really shouldn't have just given that one away. If I had a wife, she'd probably leave me over this. But I already left her for hover bikes. in their hoverbike jerk town wouldn't give me a permit to set up shop inside their walls. But that's not a problem for you two. Oh, Vic always wins. Don't you worry about that. It won't even be a town when I'm done with them. Huh? Huh? Right. Now, get spending. Ah, oh, sweet stealth catapult. What's going on here? Some sort of loser training camp? Yes, but we also fix TVs. If you're interested in more than insulting us, these training dummies are nigh indestructible. Pfft, maybe for you. Out of my way. Let me show you how it's done. Whoa! What are you doing, you monster? That was lovable, Kevin. That's the dummy. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, real tough training camp you're running here. That was merely the beginner, dummy. Do you truly think you're up to the high standards of the Metal Brethren? Then try your luck with the more advanced version over there. <laughs> Wise guy, eh? <laughs> Not so tough now, are you? Zip it, Buckethead. I'm just warming up. This may come as a surprise to you, Maxi, but cheating is definitely not beneath me. We gotta weaken this thing somehow. Termites? Get your termites here! Can't ride a hoverbike without termites! You pair look like you could use some termites! How about it? Only 5,000 Vic Bucks! 
Thanks. You won't regret it half as much as I do for opening this store. Such a tremendous display of skill and power. You are indeed a warrior worthy of the grand title of cadet. Pfft, nah, is there a prize or something for this, though? <sighs> yes, this would be a total waste of time if there wasn't. Jeepers, we've hit the mother load. Browsing hard or hardly browsing? <laughs> Bugger me, that fella's trying to nick off with a piece of the try joke. Security. Yeah, what? That man bear, he just stole. Oh, mate, that's disappointing to hear. Oi, Steve. What? That man bear just tried to steal. Oh, mate, that's disappointing to hear. Oi, Frank! Uh, yeah? Oh, hey, you, Frank. Uh, yeah, I suppose they're coming. Leg it! Come with me if you want to live. One quarter micron at a time. Buckle up! This is gonna get swift!
Whale is doing it in the air! Chill out, dudes. Your game has been saved. A sweet looker. I'm not sure what you've heard about my butts and I, but I can assure you, we are all quite peeved. Merry butts, rough them up. Alright, Maxie, that's the third piece of the joke. Now to get back to that big jerk and continue on our adventure. Yo, dog! Yo, dog! Need a lift back? I got you! I got you, dog! What a gentle butt.
have returned. Insert disc one. First piece of the joke inserted. Processing. The setup has been received. Insert disc two. This is the second part of the joke. Processing. The misdirection is acceptable. This is the third part of the joke. Processing. <laughs> I've heard that one before. You may proceed. Finally, I get to meet the Terra from beyond. Max and BT themselves. Big fan. Have y'all come to join the Card Borgonites as we set out to destroy old robots? My ears are burning! Great! We have a common enemy in the chairman, so join up now and head to the front line. No need to sign anything, just jump on into that log ride and I'll see you on the other side. Good luck, Private!
If you see any others pinned down, be sure to free them. Now let's show these rusty tin buckets what sort of couple we're made of. George! killing of robots has inspired the card organized to rise up and to attack their centuries old rivals the robots it's been an absolute massacre on both sides Max, bt i just want to say thank you business has never been better now buy a weapon and for you full price like usual Thank <laughs> you. 
Chill out, dudes. Your game has been saved. See you, Max! Those 3D jerks have us pinned down, and my troops can't get through! We need your help! Normally, it'd be dangerous, but lucky for you, the bots are now on their lunch breaks, so why not take some much-needed you time and see the sights? Might I suggest stopping to wet your whistle at the Crater Chug House? Or mayhaps stop by JC's stall and grab some minty, fresh delights? Or maybe jam some cubers? When you're done, meet me at the top. Oh, but am I jealous of all the good times you're about to have. Now charge! Think you got the skills to play a little street ball? Well, you don't. These bots aren't programmed to play by the rules. But you got guts to even come to me, so I'm gonna give you a shot. But if you let me down, you can throw that scholarship to Prince John University out the window. All right, you're up. Don't be afraid to use your elbows.
didn't think you had it in you. Which is why I slipped you some steroids before the game. Probably why you won. Need a ride out of here, kid. You ready to leave? I'm late for my Tango class. Good evening, sir, and welcome to JC and Co. May I take your fur coat? How rude and uncouth! Of course, my apologies. Enjoy the experience that is JC and Co. Good evening, sir. May I tempt you with the Carolina Freezer? Good evening, sir. Might I entice you with cold fusion? Yo, dog! Good evening, sir and ma'am! Yo, dog! Fancy a spot of frozen death on a mountain of ice demons who will devour your soul? Yo, dog! Yes! Can you hear me? Max, I said you handle your mints like a butt. It's embarrassing. Good to see you again. Not gonna give me any trouble this time, are you? We had to hire a little security after your last visit. Arnold, you know damn well little Jimbot was asking for it. <laughs> yeah, so, the usual? Yes, please. All sold out. Can I get you anything else? The regular, then. No dice. Can I get you anything else? Uh, any old faithfuls? Yeah, oh, wait, they are expired. Uh, can I get you anything else? How about a weekend special? It's Tuesday. Damn. Lemonade? You got it. Ooh, sorry. I just sold my last one. To that guy. I love the bag! Sugar! Sugar, bro! Got my rotating eyes on you, mate. Don't start me! Okay, Maxie, we should think about making our way up to the top gate soon. Remember that thing we were doing? Something about war? I don't know, it's so hard to keep track of what we're doing sometimes. Exploring? Are you sure? Are you cocksure? Are you chicken sure? No more lollygagging! War's back on! War's on, everyone! Get back to war! Okay, let's recap! You go through this door behind me and shred those metal sons of bots! We'll stay here and protect your six! Now charge! This time it's personal! Give him heck, Admiral!
Chill out, dudes. Your game has been saved. Hey, Max! BT! How's it going, mate? Are you here to sign up to the deathmatch tournament or what? Unreal! Maybe, baby. Let's end it for us. If you win, you get to take home a brand new flat blasted 99. Unreal! Yeah, I, I guess. That's kind of tempting. Great. Now, normally it would cost you 100,000 thick bucks to enter, but I know you two are good for it. Just head on through that door and blast some bots. Wait, we get to destroy some bots? Well, sign me up for this tournament. Unreal! Unreal! Meh. Have a bottomy word. The gun is yours.
Commander, those two big bots are powering the gate shield. You'll need to take them out before you can blow up the gate. I could have sworn the secret dojo entrance was here. A thousand and one! A thousand and two! A thousand and three! Here's a challenger! I hope you're ready to put on one hell of a show out there. Don't worry if you get destroyed, as we can always transfer your backup memory card to a new chassis. Boy, it's great to be a robot. Post-Millennium Rolling Bot Championship. The challengers have shown their faces and have bravely entered the arena. The sockets on them. We all know what the chairman wants. Let the fight begin. Bring out Alternator. A freaking way!
This challenge has only just begun. While we set up the arena for the next fight, let's hear a few words from our sponsor. Captain Boats here, and I'm placing a collect call to all you patriots listening to Endless! Do you have the rivets to accept the charges? You may have heard, but we robots are fighting on two war fronts. Not only are we still dealing with the man bear menace, but the Cardborganites have once again chosen to rise up against us to fight for their precious freedom! Now that's a price I can't afford to pay. Can you? Can you? Call now and you can enlist for only four easy payments of $99.95. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. That's great to hear, but we need more and preferably more competent bots than these chumps. So call today and become tomorrow's scrap metal! Bye, Emmo. Hey, great fight out there! and BT. Good show, that. You know, while you were off battling, I had time to think more about this memory upload thing. Yeah, sure. It sounds great. If I was to die, my memory would be cloned and put into a brand new, state-of-the-art RefBot 3000 body. But what becomes of me, Kevin, the body and mind that existed before destruction? I would cease to exist, wouldn't I? I need to think more on this. Well, looky what we've got here. It's the soon-to-be champ. You've been doing well so far, but I've got a plan that'll make us both rich. You gotta take a dive. The odds on your win are through the roof, so if you lose, the payout will be huge. It'll be worth your while. What do you say? You made the right choice. Glad we came to an agreement. The challengers have returned. Let the fight begin. Ring out Absolute Zero. There's no way out from here. Yeah, that was cool. halftime show presenting the amazing Prince who will not be performing any music or saying anything but he is here accompanying him are the reckless radbots performing their patented pending stunts and a parade tribute to our butts overseas, fighting the cardboard enemies.
Back to the fight. Challenge for last. First, let's hear some more from our sponsors. Better back off. There's only one champion here, and it's me. I'm here for you if you need, bro. Bye, M.O. This whole cloning thing is one big conspiracy to control our population, man. Everything's a lie. Am I even Kevin? Kevin! Yeah, yeah. You go on alone. I'm gonna stay in here, where it's safe. champions have been taken down, but can our challengers face three champions at once? Bring out Hard Hat, Caligula, and Deep Six! I don't believe it! Our mightiest champions have been taken down! The chairman isn't gonna be happy about this!
folks, thanks for coming. We now have our new Rolling Butt Champion. The lucky contestants now get to claim their prize. What a fight that was. Our new champions now get to pick from one of three prizes. Tonight's wow. first prize is the DFW 1000 washing machine. With a 12 kilogram capacity, you'll never be left out to dry again. Also wow. on offer is the complete Engelbot Humper Droid collection. Three fantastic albums of beautiful ballads to brighten your day. Or will our champions choose their freedom and continue on their journey to get back home? They can only pick one. They'd better make it count. Do our champs have a taste for freedom? Hey, Max and BT. Bot have I got a great new item for you. A dial up -eye. It lets you get into doors like the one behind me. Let me explain how it works. Nah, I think we can handle this. That a girl. Now come grab it. I'm the house, of course, for my best customer. Dudes, your game has been saved. Well, look at that, Maxi. That's gotta be the train station that'll take us back to Earth. I'd almost forgotten what we were doing here. Choo choo, Mother Butter.
cheek is that tight. We need to train more, Max. <laughs> Maker, you're here. I thought I'd never have these pies made in time for the Robo Orphanage bake sale. Would you be a dear and help me prepare? First, we need to add fuel to the oven. I'll use my best smell to sniff it out. And finally. 
Finally, we need to get some meat from my pantry. Oh, and we must be very careful to preserve the flavor, so no weapons allowed. Thank you for your help, sweeties. Just be sure you don't tell anyone about my secret ingredient. Which is love, of course. For all your hard work today, I'd like you to have the first batch. They're fresh out of the oven, so be careful not to burn yourselves. Now off you go, dearies. Hello, sir, ma'am. I'm Mr. Botsworth of Botsworthian Pies. I'm here today to run a survey of secret ingredients you've seen recently. Could you please identify the secret ingredient in Mrs. Babochka's pies? Oh, dearie me! You gave away my secret! If the clink taught me one thing, it was that snitches get stitches! Now, shape up, dearies!
Lucy, you take it from here. Ahoy, fellow fairy enthusiast! Welcome to the Bottleberry Ferry. I imagine you are pretty eager to get across this acid lake. I'd love to take you across, but I've misplaced my key. Maybe you could help me find it. No! We don't do keys. Ever. Oh, all right. It would just help speed things up, is all. Urge to eat honey rising! All right, all right. Cool your jets. I'll rummage around until I find him. Just make sure you cover me. Some real creepy bots around these parts. Now where could those gosh darn keys have gone?
Wonder Max and BT had them on me the whole time. What a goof. Now let's ride. All right, let's hop onto the Bottleberry Ferry and get out of here.
BT. Long time no see. I acquired myself some new prime real estate. Had to muscle out the last guy, but I made sure he was fairly compensated. You could say he had an early retirement. Yep, won't be hearing from him no more. I killed him, Max. Come in and spend! Have you chosen to roll upon the righteous path? Please, step through here to proceed. Come forth and settle this like real fighters. Chill out, dudes. Your game has been saved. My first visitor! Welcome to the undiscovered, long-forgotten, hidden temple of the gods! I will be your tour guide, Sven! There will be no refreshments provided. Now follow me! Much to see! Two robot years ago, but no more than four, in a time when all robots were made of stone. 
A gigantic temple was constructed to house the two holy relics given by the robot gods, Scrapitus and Bouncitus. Lost to time, the temple was cared for by the sacred tour guides. Generation after generation, they were sworn to secrecy so that its holy relics could not be found and combined. For as we all know what happens if that event were ever to unfold. <laughs> <laughs> now behold this uncharted temple and progress to the next room. Well, if I could join you, but all robots are installed with anti bounce drives due to the incident. <laughs> <laughs> Tells me we can push that laser thingy. Give it a bit of a melee, I bet it'll move then.
one looks stuck too. What are the odds? Chill out, dudes. Your game has been saved. Bye, Camo. on far too tight for our little paws. is only here for that bad joke. chamber for an eternity must have been a real treat golly now carry on much to see Oh! 
bounce, 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 bouncy. A fun fact about this temple is that it was built by robots. Really makes you think. <laughs> Chill out, dudes. Your game has been saved. Ahem. Welcome to the Hall of Champions. Taking a look around, there must have been some ancient budget cuts, because all the statues seem to look the same. <laughs> <laughs> now continue on! Much to see! I just felt a shockwave as if a million robots were all suddenly deactivated at once. Good. Good.
Chill out, dudes. Your game has been saved. wondering what's with all these lasers I installed these lasers to stop temple robbers and so far it's worked not a single other bot has rolled into this uncharted temple but more importantly I installed these lasers due to the fact they look so cool laser dance party whoop whoop BT, you found my new location. Now spend.
Jackson Bay, eh? That son of a butt tour guide locked me up in here. If you bust me out, I'll help you out. Just need to hit two more of those to set me free. Son of a butt, I am not Naifu. I am his evil twin, the terror that is Naifu. Prepare to get sliced up. Frosty Steel style. I should really clean up around here. Um, welcome to the Temple Gift Shop. I'd like to congratulate you on being the first customer ever to enter. We've got loads of trinkets to take home and to remind you of your adventures. of items isn't great. Still waiting on our order. Who would have thought a hidden, long-forgotten temple would be hard to deliver to? <laughs> <laughs> Shiny metal. I bet it could deflect lasers. Imagine if you held primary fire and then walked in front of a laser. Oh, that'd be so cool, but you're probably too busy. A bear can dream, I guess.
And that concludes our tour! I hope you enjoyed your time here, and most importantly, I hope you learned something. Now make sure to fill out the feedback cards on the way out. <laughs> Max, this bot sucks. We should tell him how we really feel. Damn it! Jump on and we'll set off! All aboard? Too bad if not! Attention passengers! We regret to inform you that we are currently being held up by a couch on the tracks. Give me all your loot or I'll blast you! Alright, Maxi. You take the giant flying death fortress. I've got the couch. Deep break! Cool. Wake me when you're done.
Dodge got heads. Do you like swapping, Max? I don't think so. Whatever. You've had enough. I didn't hear no bell. Ah, oh, there we go. Until next time, little lady. Attention passengers, we are pleased to inform you that the couch has moved on and we can resume our journey. Unfortunately, he has made off with a sizable portion of our safe holdings and has forced us into foreclosure. This will be our final service. Ah, buttsberries. Looks like it's time to dust off the old resume. The plan went off without a hitch. Here's your cut of the highest takings. Haha, <laughs> uh, not sure what you're talking about, Butch, but thank you for the generous gift. Haha, <laughs> uh. Oh, whoops. Hey, Max. Uh. Well, well, well. If it isn't Butch Couchery and Pear Tana. Ah, crap the fuzz. I got two guns. One for the each of you. See ya. Well, well, well. If it isn't Bear Tana and Maxwell Adams, I got two guns. One for the... Uh, I don't care! <laughs> Max and BT, you're getting close to the train station. It's just past that door behind me. Must be getting pretty excited to finally be heading back to Earth. Not really. Still a bunch of bots need their comeuppance. Oh, I understand. All too well. Did I ever tell you about my old business partner, Spindly? Nah. Good. Good. Now spend! Chill out, dudes. Your game's been saved. Good. Good. Now spend!
kid to work, ain't it? Dad! What? Ow! Oh! Ow! Oh, I'm that much! Dad! Man, that kid's annoying. I bet he says we're gonna rue this one. You'll rue this day? I'll see you in the third DLC! Huh, called it. Attention all passengers. The carnival train is now arriving on platform two. That's nice, but we want the Earth train. Oh, sorry, my mistake. The Earth train has been delayed slightly and will arrive in 30 seconds. <sighs> I guess we'll go to the carnival then. Put my gravity paws on. Okay, that should stop us floating off into space. Let's suck him. Oh, wow, well, the loot has gravity paws on, too.
out, dudes. Your game has been saved. And BT, you know you two got me fired after that last time I let you past, and it worked out great. I love working here at the Space Carnival. Ah, uh, you don't say. I probably shouldn't let you guys in without a ticket. Yeah, uh, but I can't see any harm in it. Go on through, mates. I know you're good for it. Roll up, roll up! You there, 
young man, looking to win a prize for your cute lady bear friend? Oh, we're not together together, just stuck together. But this looks fun, how does it work? You get five balls to dunk three butts. Do that and you could win a prize. Here's your balls. Now stand over there and throw them like a grenade. Best of luck to you. My kids love the space carnival, but I don't love my kids. That's why they ain't here. If you ask me, I think it feels more like a space theme park. I used to be a performer here, until I took a bribe. Probably already halfway home by now. Bye, Emma. See the appeal! <laughs> Nothing beats standing around! No stir bot! Oh, sorry. Didn't hear you come in. <clears throat> Just step right up and have a whack at the new and improved whack-about. 
If y'all can score higher than 249 points, I'll give you an upgrade for that fancy armor ring you got there. Go on, give it a whirl. Your upgrade is over there. Go on, get it. With that upgrade, you should be able to take out some of the bigger bots like myself. Don't go getting any ideas, though. You know the drill. We walk out of here like nothing happened. Chill out, dudes. Your game has been saved. There's two things I hate. Waiting for the big top to open, and people who eavesdrop. Some BT. This carnival sure is swell, but I'm so hungry. Could you go get me a pie? I'll open this door for you if you do. to come and visit my new space carnival, Vicland. Are you having fun? I know they're all having fun, but why aren't they spending all their money? I see you all. I see your purses. I know you have money. Why aren't you spending? <clears throat> oh, sorry, you two always spend. That's what I like about you. Well, that and all the killing. Now spend! Doing what you love, rigging Connie games. Oh, I wouldn't trade it for the galaxy. But hey, seeing as you know the secret to it, play along. You need to knock the cans down three times to win. Here's your balls. Now stand over there and throw them like a grenade. Best of luck to you. Let me know when you're ready to go again so we can swindle some patsies. You need to knock the can- Here's your ball! Now stand over there and throw him like a grenade! Best of luck to you!
Thanks for playing along, BT. Let me know when you're ready to go again so we can swindle some... One day, I'll make enough money to get that claw transplant. Until then, I can only dream about throwing things at cans. We're almost ready for our main event. A karate demonstration? We gotta check this out. Let's get a good spot to watch. Watch in awe as our very own Johnny Bot attempts a double backflip headbutt. For Johnny Bot. He's now off on another board breaking mission. No tree is safe when Johnny Bot's on the prowl. Our main star, Daniel Bot, is no longer able to perform as he was holding the board. Is there anyone in the crowd with a yellow headband or higher who can help us? Talk to Tommy Bot over there if you can help. Hey, do you have what it takes to fill in for our star pupil? No, you don't. Beat it, jump. Only super cool karate dudes are allowed here. No, you don't. Beat it, jump. Only super cool karate dudes are allowed here. Dearies, would you like to buy a pie? Only 50 big bucks. Here you are, dearies. Sure was tasty. So tasty, in fact, I don't think I could open without another. Go get me another pie and I'll open this gate for you. Oh, dearies, would you like here you are, dearies? <whistles> Sorry, dearies, the pies are still cooking. Come back later.
Yo, dude! Bring us a pizza and we'll give you a yellow headband! Thanks, dude! Yo, Granatello! Thoughts up! Ready, cool! Hey! Do you have what it takes to fill in for our star pupil? Oh, a yellow headband? Time to show these boobs how cool karate is! Get on up there, senpai! Please give this student from our sister dojo a round of applause for stepping up. Woo! Go karate! Do your best, young warrior. Excellent work, young warrior. You've completed the next step in your karate journey and earned this blue headband. Thank you, Sensei! Now, who wants to see our newly appointed blue man open a pretty tight jar? Yeah, open that jar! Are you ready to partake in a night of exciting action and high-flying thrills? Well, too bad. The show's not ready yet. Come back later. Why not pass the time by visiting some of our other attractions? I hear there's been some trouble at the old McBotley Mansion. Why not investigate yourself? If you dare! If you've a taste for something more macabre, the menagerie of misassembled bots may be more to your liking. If you dare! We also offer a relaxing river cruise. Sail down the pristine waters of the Carabodian. Sightseeing and relaxation awaits you. If you dare!
Well, unscrew me bolts. If it isn't Long Bear Hook Claw herself. Yeah, what? The coffin has been stolen, and it's up to you to. I'm in. No need to explain. Welcome, sir and madam. You two look like a pair of go-getters on an important mission. The governor has been kidnapped. We're gonna rescue him. We need a ship. Governor, you say? You'll need our deluxe package. The regular package only covers the rescue of mares or lower. Your credit card has been charged. Please enjoy the complimentary sightseeing tour. The captain is awaiting you on the ship. The mayor has wanted to usurp the governor's position for years! Yar, you'll have to fight your way up there! These folks don't welcome us pirates!
who let the dogs out, am I right? Yep. So you say you seek to rescue our governor? I didn't say anything. Well, he's not here. I'm simply the mayor of this town. The governor has been taken elsewhere. Loot me on the way out if you must. But these coffers have been empty for years. I swear it. Yar, looks like your governor wasn't here after all. Maybe we should check his mansion. He could be there. Why the heck didn't we just go there first? I had some debts in that town. Thanks for settling them for me. Onward! Now, just what is all this commotion? No time to explain, sir. We're here to save you from the crazed pirates. Your peaceful way of life is at risk. And why, pray tell, would I abandon my island lifestyle and give up my sweet mansion? By my crumpled, bullet-hole-ridden corpse? I shan't ever leave! That works, too. We'll rescue you or kill you trying. mission without killing who we're supposed to save? I hope not. Hey, looks like the show is open now. Let's go check it out. Or we could finish up the rest of the activities here first. I'll leave it up to you. Roll right up, roll right up. Witness a spectacle which truly can't be missed. You won't be able to process what your visual receptors capture. The terror has been captured. Warm up those hard drives. This is going to be a night you don't want to forget. Oi, 
look who's awake. You're probably feeling a bit drowsy. You've been drugged with horse bot tranquilizer. So you're gonna move a bit slower, then you can't double jump. I am horse bot tranquilizer. Boss wants you to put on a good show tonight. You better not disappoint. Now get out there. Scores are in. Taking home the championship belt tonight, the Immaculate Strongo! The 
challenger has tested positive for performance enhancing horse spot tranquilizer and will be disqualified. Remember, folks, winners don't get caught using drugs. What a rip! Strongo is winner! BT, what were you doing in my storage room? Oh, hey, I've got some new guns for sale. Probably a good time to spend. There's some odd things happening around here between your usual robot enemies and the native Grobians. Messy business, that. And it's about to get messier. Isn't that right, you pair of psychos? Haha. <laughs> <laughs> well, they just kind of get in their way, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Now spend! Bring me wired, Steve. He's falling asleep again.
Chill out, dudes. Your game has been saved. Max, PT. So glad I ran into you. I just escaped from a prison those bots set up for us Grobians. There's still some more of us trapped inside. I need you two to bust them out. No worries, Spence. Fingers are the only thing you can count on around here. We'll save them. Legend. Now head down that way and eventually you'll get there. I'll be waiting here. Don't bother coming back to visit me. I got nothing else to say.
game has been saved. Max, that gate is locked down tight. If I'm not mistaken, and I rarely am in all things lock related, that's a Lockatronic 600 with a solid Robotanium pressed alloy body, a drop forged rust proof shackle, and an anti bearing double ricochet fastener. What I'm trying to say, Maxi, is there's no way we can break this lock open. We need to find another way. Jerks were trying to starve us to death. If you have time, there's more of us inside to save. Anyway, we're gonna teleport back home now. Make sure you stop in for a visit after you're done doing whatever it is you two do. Now look away. We get stage fright and can't teleport if you're looking at us. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Magic! Oi, mate. You just let all those crims out before they finish their reps. That's really disappointing to hear. I'm going to have to go trigger the alarm now.
come back to haunt me. Tag out, Maxi. <laughs> Self-destruct sequence activated. You have 72 hours to evacuate. Oh yeah, that sounds pretty reasonable. All right, everybody, let's pack up and go. No need to rush. Orderly manner, please.
Welcome back to the new but not the newest dating simulation! Our contestant Bantana has been sitting in our soundproof portal until this point, but is ready to play. BT, how are you, lovely? I'm fine, darling. How are the kids? Still dead. Now, bachelor bot number one, would you please say hi to our contestant? Hey, how you doing? And bachelor bot number two, say hello? Hello. And bachelor bot number three. Ask our bachelors their first question. Bachelor number one, what's your idea of a perfect date? I take you to meet my family, because nothing is more important to me than family, not even the quarter micron. Oh, that sounds lovely. And bachelor number two? Well, we'd start things slowly and go from... Boring. Bachelor number three? You <laughs> naughty, I like that. Okay, okay, moving on. I'm not from around here and I tend to get lost easily. Bachelor number two, why should I trust you to show me around? Well, I've been programmed to know exactly where everything is and will ensure you get to where- Yawn. Bachelor number one? Because I love my family and I'm a good driver. I consistently hit sub-10 nanoparsecs on the quarter micron. Aw, oh, how sweet! And bachelor number three. Oh. Hey, hey, settle down. This is a family show. Family. Okay, BT, while we're young. What? Ask the next question. Oh, uh, what's that say? Well, we all know what that sound means, don't we? It's time for... Hit the dash! Because that's an airstrike! Everyone get down! Get down! Ah, the pesky card Borgonites at it again. Those scamps. Anyway, that's all the time we have for today. Have you made a decision, BT? Let me tell you, Vic, it wasn't easy deciding. Except for number two, he sucked. But I'm gonna go with bachelor number three. Well, let's introduce you to the bachelors you didn't choose. <sighs> I'm so excited, I can't wait! Wait, they were robots? What did you expect? We'll be right back. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'd like to thank my sponsor, me. You're welcome. And we'll catch you next week. All right, we clear? Good. That's a wrap, everyone. Now get the heck off my set. We need to prep for Cuba Fortune. BT, Max, great job today. I knew I could count on you. Exit's over there. I'll catch up with you soon.
Chill out, dudes. Your game has been saved.
up, dudes? Game's been saved.
think you'd actually get that though, either. Unfortunately, all this destruction has summoned me as a cluck, the chicken demon. I feel like chicken tonight. My family can rest in peace. You know not what you have helped achieve today, but I thank you. I must return to my village. It is time to rebuild. I'll see you again, brave warrior. This I know to be true. Coming through! Fear not, I am unscathed. Backing up! First my window was smashed by some hoodlums. Now I've got a scuff mark on my toe bar. Could this day get any worse? Anyway, always a pleasure to see you two. Take care now. You too, Vic.
Oh, but the horror! Compute this does not! Zero, 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 zero. Hey Max, have you seen that new Bot Cruise movie? It's pretty good.
We're on a quest back to Earth. We can help you with that. You can take out candy rockets and blast off to the spaceport located on the outskirts. If you reach the honey factory, you know you've gone too far and have to turn back. Honey factory, got it. Now, before you go, I'd like you to witness our most sacred relic. The sacred heat ray. It warms up all our yummy treats. No touch, only luck. Pretty neat, right? You touch the sacred heat ray. They've desecrated our god! Kill them! Kill them!
Good to see you, mates. Yeah, I got fired from the carnival for giving out too many free tickets. But between you and me, it felt more like a space theme park anyway. But anywho, are you here for the Honey Factory tour? Yes. Yes, we are. Great! Now, between you and me, a private tour normally costs three gigazillion Vic bucks. But I know you two are good for it. So head on through the door behind me. But I gotta warn you. <clears throat> to buckle up for a tour of a lifetime where fun meets education. Let the learning begin. Open the door for the tourists. All right, now get in there. Hey, Max, I just want to say I really appreciate you taking the time to stop at the Honey Factory for me. There am I excited. I can taste all the honey flavors now. What the heck is this? 
I'm Hyvie, and I'll be your guide to Information Town. Welcome to the Pipe Zone. Here we pump all sorts of things. Oil, acid, waste. You'll see more of me around. Press the button and find out some fun Honey Factory facts. Ew. Behold, behind me sits a container for containing liquids. We have no idea what's in it. Would you like to have a guess to what is inside? No point. I just said I don't know what's inside. Did you know that pipes are one of the many things that can transfer liquids? Did you know? Did you know that acid is the number one cause of acid-related deaths? How exciting! Are you ready to see more? I know I am! This way for more exciting edutainment! I'm bored! Behold, a corner! You will find many like it throughout your tour. Can you count them all? I know I won't. Did you know that robots built this place? This way for more exciting edutainment! No, honey. This is the Imaginatarium. Here, our researchers spend all their hours imagining all sorts of things. From honey to honey-related products. Sometimes I wish we could crack open these eggheads' brains and see how they think. But then I think of the cleanup that would be required. And, well, I kinda lose interest. These bots here are giving it their all. They won't be seeing their family again. I made sure of that. Did you know that computers compute? Onward to discover more. Max, this sucks. B -b 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 board. Welcome to our refining area, a favorite among our tourists. Here we see how the jars of honey are made. What a treat! I'm so sorry, but this is really boring. I'm not sure what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. I thought maybe at the very least it would have some educational stuff. 
but to not get to taste any? I'm at a loss for words, Max. Truly, out of words. Not a single word left to say on the matter. Nothing to do now except to remain silent and progress. Sorry, Max, I can't go on any further. It's just too boring. You go on without me. I'm staying here. Welcome to the Honey Hill Zone. Before you is our newest mixture, Super Honey. Four times the power, seven times the calories. Uh, what did I miss? Ooh, honey. Power up. Go round, go round. Force one. Ah, heck. The boy, bear force is too fine. 
Chill out, dudes. Your game has been saved. Bye, MO. Initiate protocol. Kill them.
Dracula! We gotta stop it! That honey ain't free! Captain's Block. I find myself injured and alone. My companion, Bertana, nowhere to be seen. I've lost my weapons, just out of reach. The injuries to my legs prevent me from jumping to reach them. I'm left with no weapons of a conventional sense. I need to find my way out of here. Captain's Blog. This may be my last entry. I've been wandering for what seems like hours. All hope is lost. If I don't find some water soon, I'm in danger of becoming a little thirsty. Captain's blog. A strange beast stands before me. Clearly, it has malicious intent. If a test of pugilistic strength is what this thing wants, then it best prepare for disappointment. Or if this creature shares anything in common with humanity, it probably won't like rocks being thrown at it. One way or the other, it's clobber in time. skills will only get me so far. I need to assemble a weapon to truly defeat this monster. Scouring the environment for supplies is my only way forward. My captain's sense is telling me what I seek is entombed here. Now to find a way through. Destructive tools, the folly of mankind, eternally destroying our environment for the sake of destruction. When will we learn? This ought to blow them rocks up good. Just what I need. This should provide some extra firepower. have such a measurable strength. The beast does not hurt up. I need to keep fighting. safe. Will it contain something to craft a weapon with? 
If only it weren't obviously locked. useless on its own, but it could conceivably still be integrated into a makeshift weapon. Quasic. The beast is not what I'm going to keep fighting. Final piece of the puzzle. Time to assemble a weapon and finally defeat this monster. is complete. Time to boldly kill what no man has killed before. In the end, were we really that different? I can't conceive needing a weapon of such destruction at all in the near future. It would be pointless to bring it with me. Time to continue on this lonely road. I used to know a bear who would kill for some honey. Bertana, where are you? I must press on. There's no sidestepping this situation. I have to... Captain's blog, I've located a long abandoned vehicle. Though it appears to be out of fuel. I must press on. Today's special, free fuel, only a hundred Vic bucks. Distractions at every turn attempt to draw me into a backward spiral. Dang, I really thought I had a customer. I decided it was best to press on. I should have listened to Mother, but this is a terrible place for a shop. There's only one option left. Guess I've got to earn that life insurance. Gonna be three more in the orphanage tonight. Captain's blog. I've encountered yet another deserted vehicle. This one with the keys in the ignition. With this stroke of good fortune, I can continue my mission to find Bertana.
After a brief time, I decided it was best to continue the rest of the journey on foot. Wherever you are, Bertana, I'm coming to save you. In the distance, the building looms, yet makes no weave. Could Bertana be there? No idea, Max, but uh, this is my stop. Good luck, old friend. I must press on. Hey there, Maxie. How you doing? You were sleeping like a baby, so I thought I'd check out some of the local sites. By the way, you left your guns behind, you silly goose. I picked them up for you. All right, let me quickly piggyback on your back again, and let's get out of here. Hey Max! Hey BT! How you doing, mates? Welcome to Whistling Pete's 37th Franchise Store, where lips are for kissing. Off to see the big boss? Yep. You wanna kill him? Probably. Yeah, I thought as much. Now this is the last time I'll probably get to see yous, so best of luck with what's ahead, mates. I'm sure Whistling Pete would say the same, but he's off with the pixies! Anyways, I'll leave you to it. I'm sure you're busy getting ready. Ooh, I love this band. Quick, 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 quick. You have journeyed far and wide, my friends. And I am proud to say that out of all the apprentices I have had, you were certainly one of them. And they can never take that away from you. Now go and don't ever look back! Hey Max, BT. Welcome to the Adequate Bar. It's this new franchise model I'm trying out. Basically, these chumps pay me to sell my product. It's a win-win for old Vic. I don't know, Vic. Looks kind of tacky to me. That's the point. Genius. Now, this will be the very last time you see me. You know, you've been my favorite customer. And really, none of this would be possible without the continued patronage of you two. So do me this one last favor for an old friend for me, old Vic, old Vic Spedley, old Vincent Spendalton the Third. Spend. Welcome to the Adequate Bar. It's been your pleasure. Welcome to the Adequate Bar. It's been your pleasure. Oh, come on! That was my last favorite barrel!
Run, hot shot. Your luck just ran out, amigo. End of the line, pal. Dang, Max. Looks like this is the end of our adventure together. It's been an honor killing everything with you.
Don't you power down on me. We've been through so much together. I can feel the hard drives shutting down. This is the end of your heart. This isn't fair. You're too handsome to die. Goodbye, Victoria. No! Your ruin has just begun. I'll see you in the third DLC. For real this time! I'll let you. Someday. If I have time. Dudes, your game has been saved. By ammo.
Using Spinly Recovery Services. That'll be 300 big bucks.
Well, all those years working at the morgue should have prepared you for this moment. Click. Syrup. We may also bring stability to the area, if we get around to it. said earlier to be the last time you saw me, but I just couldn't let you stumble into what lies ahead. Knowing that you still had some Vic bucks on you. So why not spend up one last time for old Vic? No, Maxwell. Now is not the time.
What a long elevator ride. Hey, look, no line. Yo, two tickets to Earth. Certainly. Coach or first class? As if you had to ask. Come on. Coach, please. Burden has begun. Please enjoy your flight. And on the way, grab yourself a complimentary health and ammo refill. You are very beautiful. That'll be 5,000 big bucks. Here's our seat. Guess this means we're going back to Earth. You to retirement, me back to jail. But we had fun, hey, Maxie? I'm gonna miss it. Now to enjoy the long trip home. I'm gonna be listening to my podcast. Please don't disturb me, Max. Uh, what is going on? We haven't moved an inch in hours. Feels like we're driving around in circles. I need some air. Let's get up and see what the holdup is. Although, I don't think there's any breathable air in space. There isn't, but there's a bear in space! <laughs> Shut up. Ah well, at any rate, it hasn't been an issue so far. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. My legs needed this. Just as I suspected. Gridlock. There's gotta be a better way. Someone needs to do something about all this traffic. Uh, maybe this guy will help. Traffic jam detected. Solution. Remove traffic. All pedestrians must leave the area. Beginning removal of pedestrians. That's how it's gonna be, huh? It's go time, Max.
You need to listen to me. This whole thing has been a mistake. Really? After you left me for dead on the spaceship, I thought I was a goner. But these friendly robots gave me a second chance in life. They may be the top scientist. It doesn't have to be this way. I forgive you. Oh, uh, yeah? Well, I never apologized. <laughs> Time to help me finish this final boss off. Firebird! Coco the Barian! Bennett! Kansas Stranger! What a crazy bunch of bears in space! Huh? No! That was 
was a really nice bus you just blew up. Well, that's it. We finally achieved my dreams of killing that guy. Guess there's nothing stopping us from finally going back to Earth. <coughs> now, just what is this? It's been going off ever since we crash landed. Ah, it's some sort of distress signal transponder. Someone's been trying to contact us. Guess it was on vibrate. Do you read me? Captain Maxwell Adams, can you hear us? It's for you, Max. This is Admiral Chad Turbo of the SS Bovine. We detected cataclysmic signals coming from your ship a few days ago. Now that you've answered, we can finally locate you and begin the rescue mission of you and your crew. They'll have to take a partial victory in this case. Sit tight and watch the skies. Rescue is here. Climb aboard, you're going home. Hey Max, do you really want to go home and wait out the rest of your days, weeks, and tops in some stinky retirement home? No. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey, jerks, see you in heck. <sighs> There's still robots out there to destroy and honey to consume. What do you say, old friend? Shall we go on another zany adventure? Time to continue the rest of the journey. Where do you want to go? In the distance. Sounds good to me. Sit tight and watch the skies. Rescue is here. <laughs> <laughs>